All right, welcome back to the channel. So, Terrence Crawford has refused to fight Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, Jam um, Ray Robinson, and any of these other top uh, Ugas, any of the other top guys at 147 pounds. And I do believe that Dillian White just showed us why. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back. So let's talk about Terrence Crawford in the welterweight division and the fact that he has been called out by uh, Keith Thurman. He's been called out by uh, Gary Russell Jr., He's been called out by uh, Sean Porter, said he'd be willing to fight him. You have guys like uh, Danny Garcia that he refused to fight by offering Amir Khan more money. Just a lot of conversations and a lot of, I mean, a lot of fighters that Terrence Crawford has refused to fight. And this is a bit of an op-ed, um, bit of an op-ed video and that I'm going to give you my, my opinion. And Dillian White, when Dillian White got knocked cold by Alexander Povetkin, cold but out cold by Alexander Povetkin, things started making sense to me. Like I knew about this before, I knew it because I'd already always said Dillian White is not too far from getting knocked out, dude. I think it was the uh, Joseph Parker fight. Didn't Joseph Parker towards the end of the fight wind up uh, slipping up and dropping um, Dillian White? Dillian White had already been knocked out by Anthony Joshua, so. You know, you knew Dillian White's chin was not super sturdy because of what you'd seen in the past. So when I was watching it, I was like, you know, this seems in a strange way a little bit like Terrence Crawford because Dillian White, although they go about it in different ways, Dillian White is a guy that doesn't have the best chin in the world, but he continues to fight Middle mid-level fighters, all and I'm calling all those dude mid-level fighters. Joe Joseph Parker, upper mid-level if you want it. Joseph Parker, the to uh, Chisora, Takam, Pavetkin, all these guys, dude, are all second. I mean, none of those guys are world breaker, bre breakers in the in the welterweight division. Excuse me, in the heavyweight division, but they're fighters that with names that are familiar. So Dillian White, when he had an opportunity to fight. Luis Ortiz in order to get a voluntary shot at the WBC belt against Deontay Wilder told Luis Ortiz no. And instead of fighting Luis Ortiz, because if he would have beaten Luis Ortiz, he would have fought Deontay Wilder back in 2009. He would have been the, yeah, he would have fought him in 2019. Same thing goes for, same thing goes for um, Dominic Brazil. If, because Dominic Brazil offered to fight Dillian White, Dillian White, it was mandated by the WBC for the Dillian White Dominic Brazil fight. What did Dillian White do? He refused to do it. So those were two circumstances where Dillian White had an opportunity to fight Dominic Brazil and Luis Ortiz. If he would have beat either one of those guys for that fight, he would have not, he would have been fighting Deontay Wilder in his Deontay Wilder's last fight and not Tyson Fury. Right. Or excuse me. No, no. Or not Luis Ortiz. Right. So but he turned those fights down and now we see him knocked out. It makes me wonder about Terrence Crawford, because similar to Dillian White. Terrence Crawford has a reputation for having a shaky chin. He got rocked very badly. By Yuri Yoka's Gamboa, rocked very badly by Yuri Yoka's Gamboa. I also saw him take shots by Hank Lundy that I thought really got his attention. Same thing went for Igus Calvinakis. Left hook puts him down, right? A guy, so he's had multiple times when he's got knocked down, right? So I'm watching after the, after the glory of Dillian White getting knocked out, the fun that I had for Dillian White getting knocked out because that, my friend, should put an end to all of the matchroom boxing heavyweight fandom, okay? Because both AJ... And Dion and uh um 
Dillian White both got knocked out. So all of this, we taking over the world and uh, yeah, 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 yakety, yakety, yak. I don't want to hear it. But anyway, in the midst of, and I'm still just kind of high on it. So, but anyway, in the midst of that, I watch, after that, I watch the Sean Porter versus uh, Formula, uh, Formula, Formula, call him Formula Fight. Now, while Sean Porter did not knock out Formula, dude, he was clearly an entire level above Formula. Formula had a good, uh, he has a good chin and was taking some decent shots, but there's just nothing that he really could do with, uh, with, with Sean Porter other, other than make it to the, other than make it to the end of the fight, right? So I was sitting there thinking, though, dude, that Sean Porter, Sean Porter could screw around and do a Pavekin on on um, on Terrence Crawford. He could screw around and do a Pavekin on him, just a real big shot and boop, he's gone. Because there's not too many people. I mean, I've seen Errol Spence Jr. rock. People will talk about that. I mean, it's his eighth fight against that guy. I can't remember what his name is, but he's actually a 154 pounder that rocked him, not a 147 pounder. The guy was at 100. 54 pounds i think the fight was actually at 154 pounds if it wasn't both uh he was definitely in 154 before that fight i think his name was emmanuel lark so he got him with a good he got him with a good shot but that never stopped um errol spence jr from fighting guys from uh continuing to fight guys that had a reputation as being big punchers right and he seems to seek out the best competition he can possibly fight that's not Terrence Crawford. Terrence Crawford looking, sounding more like Dillian White, right? Every guy that anybody thinks has a de halfway decent shot to beat him, uh, uh, Terrence Crawford doesn't want to fight him, right? Doesn't want to fight uh, Kel. He didn't want to fight. We'll see if the Kel Brook fight gets made. We'll see if that gets made, right? But aside from the possibility that Kel Brook can get made, right? He won't fight Sean Porter. He won't fight. He didn't want to fight Danny Garcia. He just wants to either fight Manny Pacquiao or Errol Spence Jr. or bust. And it just makes me wonder, watching what happened with Dillian White and watching how Terrence Crawford has, um, you know, been rocked in the past, whether it really isn't anything to do with, with the PBC and all of that, that it really is a situation where it could be a situation where Terrence Crawford, even though he really is, because I still have him as the pound for pound best fighter in the world. Maybe it's just something that he knows something or Bomack knows something about Terrence Crawford that, you know, that they don't want to risk unless it's for the really big money. So say, for example, Terrence Crawford has a glass jaw and it's truly a concern for them. Well, Sean Porter can touch that chin just like Errol Spence can touch it. Danny Garcia has the ability to knock somebody out cold with the with the left hook if you sleeping um uh i'm not ray robinson's not the biggest power puncher in the world but you know hey man it's 147 pounds <laughs> so you know and, and he's a southpaw which might make it a little bit awkward but just this whole dillian white thing makes me feel like you know terrence crawford and because it's just so much man so and, and it's so and it's going on for so long now okay this is terrence crawford has been the been a champion at 147 pounds for two years, right? He's on his third. This will be his fourth. His next fight will be his fourth title defense. Okay, so he has been, matter of fact, I do believe now he's been at welterweight longer than he was at lightweight. Definitely as far as the championship fights go, because I think he might have had two title defenses at uh, at 130 pounds, but most of the fights, I think, for him have been well no before that i guess he got a bunch at lightweight before he actually got his title so excuse me for that but you know it just terrence crawford needs to come on and fight somebody man for real fight somebody because otherwise man i just you know for the sake of this channel i do think that i gotta start stepping off and thinking man dude is this guy really as good as i think he is or are they really are they really really just trying to protect him from from guys that they don't think they'll make a lot of money fighting, but have all of the ability in the world to knock out uh, to knock out Terrence Crawford. Now the heavyweight division obviously is is different than the than the welterweight division in that you pretty much have a lot of guys at the heavyweight division if they really hit you cleanly can hurt you and get it can hurt you and get you out of there, which is less the case for um, for the 147 pound division 
but still the guy, but Terrence Crawford being a guy that's moved, who is not the biggest 135 guy, a big, he's not the biggest 147 pounder in the world. Hey man, that might, you know, that really might be, it really might be a concern for him. So I'm going to continue to keep pushing him, <laughs> trying to get, you know, pushing the conversation. You know, hopefully he'll announce his fight coming pretty soon. I think it's going to be, I'm hoping that it's going to be Kell Brook. Really hoping it's Kell Brook. I'm hoping he doesn't fight formula. But on the formula tip, like people are like, said something about Sean Porter and, and formula. I know his name is Formia or whatever, but whatever. I ain't ever going to see the dude again. <laughs> anyway, for Formia, Sebastian, they were like, um, Bud would have knocked him out. There's no way he would have went the distance with Bud. Yeah, there's no way that he would have went. I don't know if he would have went the distance or Bud or not. I don't think that he would have. I, I believe Sebastian would have beat Bud. But don't act like Sebastian looked like any better a fighter or any worse a fighter than Igus Kalvinakis did. You know what I'm saying? Like, Igus Kalvinakis dropped you. Why Why couldn't Formula One drop you? That it ain't too far apart, man. Anyway, man, do better, Terrence Crawford, man, and fight somebody. Anyway, that's my take on the matter. It is what it is. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Peace.